smoker is the most important tool for working a colony of bees. Today, we will be demonstrating how to light a smoker using the Daydant 4x7 stainless steel smoker with shield, item number M00927. These smokers are made in the USA of the original Bingham design that is of time proven quality. Many different items can be used as smoker fuel, or at least starter fuel. Newspapers, dried leaves, pine needles, burlap, chipped corn cobs, and even dried cow manure can all be used. The best we have found is our Daydant smoker fuel with all cotton fibers, item number M00810. And if you wish to have a longer lasting smoke for a lengthy trip to the bee yard, our wood pellet smoker fuel would be ideal, item number M008085. To light a smoker, ignite a small handful of our Daydant cotton fiber smoker fuel or a small handful of newspaper and drop it into the smoker, puffing constantly to produce a brisk flame. The most important principle to remember about lighting a smoker is to have the flame below the fuel, not above it. As one puffs the bellows, air enters below the flame, pushing the flame upwards into the fresh fuel. Add another handful of fuel, puffing constantly to ignite the fresh fuel. Add another handful, then another. If you need a longer lasting smoke, you can substitute in our wood pellets. Remember to continue puffing as you go until the smoker is full of fuel, at which point you can close the lid. The objective is a cool, dense smoke. Once the smoker is reliably lit and you have on protective clothing, Squeeze the smoker bellows to puff smoke at the entrance of the hive. Pry open the hive cover and puff under it to alert the bees at the top. Use the hive tool to pry apart the lid, supers, and frames which will be glued together with propolis. Move carefully to avoid crushing bees against other hive parts. A few puffs of smoke at the beginning are usually sufficient to calm a small colony for the duration of the inspection. For bigger colonies, it may be necessary to smoke the bees more often. As you work the hive, you can tell when you need to use more smoke. Due to a possible fire hazard in dry areas, please be extremely careful in where you set your smoker and to dispose of its smoker contents safely. For more helpful beginner tips, please check out our Beekeeping Beginner book, First Lessons in Beekeeping.